Well, the final episode of the action episode of the film involves a sinking house. You do wonder how you're going to shoot a sequence involving a sinking house on the Grand Canal. And uh, we have a pretty clever group. Uh, Chris Cobalt and his boys have built at the 007 stage the interior of the house above tanks of water with all kinds of uh, equipment to make it tilt and to rock it and to bring it down into the water. third scale is because water still scales okay at that um, and also you know you, we can we can use traditional construction methods at that sort of size uh, and then the dressing becomes the real sort of miniature work. What are we waiting for Steve? Uh, we're waiting for the, uh, the sun to sort of come around at such an angle that it we get all the texture and the, you know, the, the finish on the front of the building. I mean, the miniature has been arranged in this sort of orientation uh, relative to the sun to sort of line up with the actual sunlight that we got in, uh, in Venice. Ava, are your ears clear? Get yourself set, that's quite that's a good starting position. And remember this time, exactly the same action, but with some bubbles, so some special effects bubbles coming up from your feet. I had to learn how to control my breathing underwater because she's struggling in the cage. And it was quite scary at the beginning, you know, like without any air and and I think it's gonna be because I, I uh, rehearsed in very clear water. And I've heard it's going to be quite dirty, murky, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be quite scary. And when you're ready, float away. And cut. Well, the set has basically uh, got very little room to move because the floors are all have all been destroyed, so it's all water um, from the Grand Canal in story terms, and everything is crumbling and falling apart. It's very slippery. Uh, the elevator, you catch a little bit of it um, behind me. That has to crash over while the um, uh, while Ava Green is inside of it. It crashes into the water. Bond goes to save. So pretty. Um, exciting stuff, but a very, very difficult set to work in. 
and it's it's extraordinary. I mean, it's kind of it's beyond reality. I mean, but it it, it, it has enough of it has enough of a real edge to it. it. It's quite confined. I mean, it's very confined space. So uh, you know, we're working very closely together, and it's you know, once you're on it, you can't get off. And again, a great thing is that you know we're not using huge amounts of CGI, so I'm not reacting to things that aren't there. And the stuff that's falling from the ceiling is genuinely, uh, you know, stuff that's falling from the ceiling. scary because Vespa is stuck in the elevator and uh, it's dropping. No matter how much you, you trust those people, you know, you can't help thinking, my God, it's going to drop for real. Well done, special effects. Well done, everybody. Great job. Thank you very much. We're moving on. I'm quite dreading the underwater stuff, but you know, I'm sure we'll be surrounded by you know good people. But it's just I'm sure it's going to be quite murky and I'm short-sighted, so it's going to be like in a nightmare. Quite relaxing actually to drown. Yeah, yeah, it was very nice. It was very nice. There's a there's a it's like a squawk box which the surface can talk to you directly. Dave, whenever you're ready, thank you. Your responses are sort of basically all, all that. I mean, and that's it. And you, of course, you can't see a, a bloody thing. I mean, you know, that's that's the problem. I mean, you kind of you're given a sort of spot to look at, and you try and play love, and <laughs> anger, and all that, but you you know, you might as well be acting to a brick wall. You've no idea what's going on in front of you. Thank you very much, that was excellent.